I got Sorry. kicked out of elementary school for flagging. They mm. kicked us out. We was coming in up with our flags. This is at Nacu Henderson. Wow. They sent us home. Did you finish school? I got my GD. Hey, flowers, let's talk to them. I ain't never had to prove that I was gangster, not for real. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But what does, how does a guy from Houston, because I asked these niggas this, man. I asked, uh, I, I asked, uh, shout what? out to Al D300. I asked certain, because it's gangs here in, in, in Texas. Bang LA said. Yeah, yeah, but you got guys here in Texas. I brought guys from LA. I asked the guys from LA, how can the guys in LA, do they take the guys in Texas serious? I can be real with you, you know, to me, being from the outside looking in, you know, that's my spot right there where yeah. I come in with it. Uh, it when a LA, uh, a person from LA, my cousins being from LA as well, come to Texas and see somebody saying they some type of gang affiliated, it's not the same, it's not the same. To, I'm being real. I, I feel like they look at it as a different whole scenario because they're not from those hoods that, that the people are, my cousins are from. Mm -hmm. And they've been coming down here ever since I was, and I'm old now. So when you say it's not the same, what do you mean? Meaning they didn't give them the same respect. I'm telling Who? you, my cousins, when they right. came from LA right. to down here and we would go to Shreveport, this was they, a long time ago because now. Because they looked at it as generic. They they, they mimicking the LA, they mimicking exactly. us. Because it originated in LA. So how do a guy in Houston, Texas, that was from Fifth Ward end up being affiliated with anything to do with Crippin. Man, a long time ago. See, what it is is, well, like, it's a guy named Sam Brun Hoover to Houston. Okay. I'm a Hoover. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't just fall on the Crips, like okay. I say. Yeah. So, um, Sam Brun Hoover to Houston. And so from there, it branched off. This was a long time ago. From that branch off. So if you didn't come from that branch, you know what I'm saying, for the most part, if you didn't come from nowhere up under him or you don't know, like, you're not, you know what I'm saying? Not like official. You, yeah, you're not official. Is Sam from Houston or is he from L.A.? I don't know that. Okay. I don't know, yeah, I, I don't know that. I just know that history. Yeah. Because there is a definitely, you know, from Three Stripes to all this, Three Stripes is... His video looked just like yours, you know what I'm saying? Like when you, he wearing this and he's in L, he's in Moultrie, Georgia. What what influenced you to be uh, a crib? Um, and how old were you daddy. when you got Your into it? Your daddy was cribbing? Nah, my daddy, he ain't he affiliated with nothing, but my dad always told me to be a leader. So all my homeboys are bloods. So I, always, I was raised to be different, so I became mm. a crib. In Moultrie, I, I say it in my songs all the time. All my niggas banging red, but we chasing the green. I'm the only crib in my organization. And y'all friends with them? Because yeah. I always thought when you blood and crib, you're not supposed to be friends with each other. You're supposed to be like enemies. Nah, that ain't how it started out. In the beginning, in California, mm -hmm. bloods and crips started out to go against the police. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like it's, it was a branch off the Black Panthers. You know, so that's the same thing Payback said, but somebody else said something different. You got you get you fake OG, the folk begin fake history, they don't be going to the land and, and talking. Mm -hmm. But okay, Crip started and then they started blood because you know, in, you start anything, you mm -hmm. always gonna have somebody hating and try to start something to be in competition with us. Crip mm -hmm. was the fourth, the first, um, the first organization, you know, mm -hmm. and then it became blood and then they went against each other. But you got Crips that go against each other, you got. You got six, you got Sloss and Al right here, and you got Hoover Street and they rivals and they killing each other. Mm -hmm. And then you got Eighty uh, Third Street, which is eight trade gangster Crips. They all like that's how it is in Cali. Yeah, you know, like like I've seen these guys fly in and do interviews, and and it's like nah, see the blue bandana go through a lot of six, so you would get it confused if you don't know, like. Like, let's say we in the club with anybody. We know what kind of crip they is by their hand signals and shit. Oh, the average you can really, person, you, you, you really can, can really tell. The average person will never know. I have been, I just was in the show with, um, with B-King, and you know, we was from Rolling Sixties on the other side, and them niggas was banging. We ain't even, you know, we ain't even let it be known. But it could have started a whole war at, <laughs> at the show. Yeah. Just because these niggas banging on us, wow. and they Rolling Sixties. Mm. Wow, it's crazy, yeah, man. Why it's did crazy you? Like why that. did you? Um, why uh, didn't I? Well, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> why did you um, join the Hoovers? And how old were you? 
I was in elementary school. That young? Yeah, I was young. My mom was over. Okay. So, like, I was kind of, like, born into this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't in a nice place. Right. And it was going down like that. Okay. I just didn't know how, because some people yeah, start- I got kicked out of elementary school for flagging. They mm. kicked us out. We was coming in there with our flags. They said, Nacky Henderson. Wow. They sent us home. Did you finish school? I got my GD. Hey, flowers, let's talk to them. I ain't never had to prove that I was gangster, not for real. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.